verify that yet, but I will speak about him. Um, I, I really got my best uh, look at him at the end of the season when he was with the Red Sox, and I was really impressed with his at-bats, the quality of the at-bat. Saw a pitch as well, looked over an at-bat well. Uh, great defender. Uh, you know, has a real calmness about his approach to the game. I mean, a lot of things I liked about all of that. Uh, been liking him for several years. Andrew and I have been talking about him for a while. So, uh, you know, if in fact that were to happen, uh, He'd be a, he's, he's a very nice player, and uh, and again, my my uh, familiarity with him was based on the end of the season. But I really liked his at bats. I know, you know, there's probably something, uh, some chicken left on the bone there yet with him, according to Dave Wills. But I, you know, he's also at that optimal age, like 28 years of age, right in that sweet spot where we like to get guys that maybe have possibly, which you would consider underachieved to a point, and then all of a sudden they come to us, and this is like the perfect time to get them. Uh, this is the age, I think, where a lot of uh, uh, potentially really good players that maybe have not arrived there, arrive there. So we could hopefully be getting him if that were to happen at the exact right time. You think you can kind of compare it to like Casey Crouchman, kind of similar game? Good there is there's a similarity. There is a similarity to that. Uh, I can't disagree with that. There's some similarities, yeah. And, and would having a left-handed hitting first baseman, if that were to happen, Right. Impact what you would do with the DH. Maybe would you want that DH to be right-handed, or it depends on who the outfielder is. Or you know, it's uh, you, you just have to again uh, be prepared. I think to platoon on a, in situations with that first baseman. If um, again, we you know we're going to look at uh, righty-lefty breakdown, and there's sometimes you want left-handed, as you know, lefty we like lefties to play against certain lefties, and maybe a lefty not to play against a certain righty. Uh, the way pitching is trending over the last couple of years, it's not just black and white, right versus left, left versus right. So um, if we were to do something like that, too, to be able to platoon would, would be good, probably. Um, as you all know, I like to rest players. I think regardless of what it says on their birth certificate, they still get tired. And especially on our turf, they're going to wear out by the end of the season. So all that stuff is accounted for in our discussions right now as we're trying to put it all together understanding who needs to, how many days a week, how many days a month does, does Roger need off, whatever. And then try to really figure that out, obviously, that he stays well and you're healthy, that uh, what's this going to look like. And then you do that. You just give people days off. You don't, you don't, you don't play them till they're broken. Uh, and again, you don't worry about what the, age, the actual age is. We have to consider our home ballpark playing 81 games in that particular field the schedule itself, and then you just got to look somebody in the eye. So I think part of the reason why we finished well um, the last several years is because of that, we, that we do monitor that. And so my, my whole point is we just don't go out and buy a guy that normally plays every inning. Like, you know, of course you did when you bought Longo, but that's we don't necessarily have that guy. Zobris probably uh, falls in that category somewhat too. So we have to be aware of uh, the platoon uh, potential. Yeah.